Hello info buddies, are you still looking for an affordable HDMI video capture card? If so, I still have here another type of HDMI video capture card that would be right for you. So stick around, relax as we unbox this and set it up and let's see if it stands out to our expectations. So what are we waiting for? Let's do this. Let's go. So okay guys, this is the product, the USB capture card, HDMI. <laughs> LR. So this is a video capture card that we're going to be reviewing for today. Now first of all it comes with a small box. Nothing fancy about it. So inside it comes with a capture card, a USB to USB cable, and a manual that is all in Chinese language. But don't worry I'll show you how to set it up later in the process. Okay. Now the actual capture card is made out of thin black metal that can be durable to endure everyday usage. It has a 2.0 USB port that is compatible with any computer from mid to high range that is easy to be recognized when connected to a computer for recording. Now on the side of the device, it has two HDMI ports, the input and output, that is used to connect the HDMI cables from a primary to secondary screen projected to the main device and can record video to 1080p but if you have a much higher computer setup it can make the video recording much more better it has a three millimeter headphone jack where we can hear the sounds directly while playing our game consoles or streaming the other cool thing that i like about it it also has a microphone slot where we can use for commenting on live streams or talking to your gaming video now that's a cool feature that you don't need to worry where you should put the microphone for you to use in the process of creating your videos. Alright, now that I've already finished explaining the device, let's start to set it up and try making some recordings to see what it does. Before we start, we will be needing two HDMI cables, the USB to USB cable, a headphone, a microphone, a gaming console to record videos, a TV monitor for the secondary screen, but this is optional if you want to record while playing on the TV. And of course, a PC or laptop for recording the video. So for recording the video, I will be using the OBS Studio as the main platform. So let's get started. So let us first connect the HDMI cables to the video capture card. Now remember guys that the cable that is coming from the gaming device or any type of gaming consoles or camera or GoPros should be plugged in the input slot because here is where the image from the gaming device or any type of device that you want to record will be transmitted. Now the output slot by the other hand is connected to the secondary monitor that is the TV or gaming screens that we are using. So we can also have an option if we want to play or not on the second screen. Just plug it out on the output slot and you can directly play it on your computer. So that's about it. Next is that we have to connect the headsets and microphone so that we would be able to hear the sounds while recording the video. And lastly, connect the USB cables to the PC or laptop to transfer the video data that is going to be recorded. Alrighty, now that we have set up the video capture card, let's start recording. Alright, now it's time to record the gameplay. The capture card is already on standby guys. Now this is the OBS studio that we are going to use to record the videos. Before we start, I'll just detach the Joy-Con so that we can open up the Nintendo Switch later on. Uh, okay, so ready and set. Now let's go to the OBS studio and let's set up our video recording. So at the bottom of the OBS, you will see a plus symbol guys. Choose that. Look for a video capture device. Now there will be another screen after clicking that. Okay, so just click OK. You just have to click OK. Okay. And you will go to another screen like this one. Okay. Now in this screen, there is an arrow at the side. Click that. Right. Choose USB video. Now go down. Yep, USB video. Now go down and choose desktop direct sound and click the box below. 
so that you can hear the sounds more clearly on your laptop or PC. So click OK. After clicking OK, you may now see the Nintendo Switch being displayed on your PC and TV. Okay, I'll just insert the Nintendo Switch when it's docked one more time and wait for a little bit. And boom. There you go. Both computers and TV monitor is projecting the Nintendo Switch. Now here in the computer screen, we can see that it's not yet in the proper size. So what we're going to do is go to the edit and look for fit to screen. Now let's go to the main event and that is recording the video. So this is an easy thing to do. Just go to the lower right corner and you will see some options here. So you start recording now and when you click start, it will immediately record video as we speak. You can also see the bottom screen that there is a time for the recording. Okay, so let's start and I'll be playing Mario Kart 8. Now as we proceed, we can see that both screens are projected identically, meaning that it is transmitted directly from the video capture card. Now let's start in choosing the game and I will be playing Mario Kart 8. Now seeing both screens side to side will tell you that there are, aren't any delays from the video capture card. Now if you just want to play directly on your PC monitor and don't want to play with a secondary screen, as I said a while ago, it's optional. So okay, let's start now. As you can see, the capture card is active, meaning it's already recording. So I'll be choosing this type of guy. So this is just an easy type of recording guys I'll just be playing it for a little bit and let's see the performance of this video capture card okay guys we're about to play so observe both screens if you can observe if there is any type of delay on the projection of the gameplay so let's start so let's wait for the game to start and let's go. So let's play a little bit of Mario Kart 8, one of the most awesome game races on the Nintendo Switch. But as you know guys, as playing the game at this point, I observed that it has minimal delays. And to be honest about it, you can't really tell because I'm playing the game smoothly. And also the coordination of the Joy-Cons and every press that I make is accurate and okay to play. There is no type of delay problems whatsoever that I'm encountering right now within the Joy-Cons. And the only thing that I can see here in my gameplay is that I really suck at playing Mario Kart 8. <laughs> well, that's about it. So let's stop recording. Now that we've finished recording, what you want to do is go down to the lower right and click stop recording. Now we are going to look for the video that we have recorded a while ago. So we're going to look for the location of the video. So the location of the video is located in the video icon. So let's look for the video icon. There you go. So or if there is no video in the video icon, you can also go to the video folder so that there you will see the video is being stored okay let's go to that location let's look for it there it is now as you can see here that there is the video so let's check the video out so i'll focus my camera a little bit now you can see it's in the video icon there you go you can see that there is the video located at the video icon. So let's check the video out and see if it works. Alright guys, the video is playing so let's just wait for a little bit for it to complete the playthrough. So here you go. Okay, so this is the video that we are recording a while ago. 
So make no mistake, this is the video that we have recorded the Mario Kart 8. So there you go. Now as you can see the process that I'm already playing it like this one. Yep. And so let's just wait for it to go through the game that I'm about to race. There you go. So we're going to go to the character selection now. And there's my character a while ago. All right. This is the stages that I chosen. Okay. So remember guys, this is the process of recording the video from the video capture card. And as I could say, the video capture card really does do the trick. So here I am about to do the race. So that's about it guys, we have successfully recorded the video. Thumbs up for that. So that's about it for our video for today. And thank you very much for watching the video of this uh, device. I do hope it gave you information on if this device would be the right thing for you. So if you need any type of suggestion or any type of tip regarding the use of or any problems within this uh, device, please comment down below. And if you're just new to the channel, please do subscribe, guys. I really will do appreciate it. <laughs> and also, thank you very much for watching and I'll be seeing you next time. This is Impulbis 101. Make your own perspective, guys. And until the next video. Bye-bye.